Hi guys, here I'm going to show you a very simple way to reset your entire workbook with the click of a button. So here we have a few sample values. We're going to completely clear this one, reset this one to another value. Over here, I want to set this back to zero and reset this text. And we can click this button and have it done that quickly. But the best part about this is that once you have the tiny little bit of EVA done, you can manage everything from this nice, simple little table here in the workbook. So you want to add a new value, then you go to the next line and type the name of the worksheet to data2 and its range reference, let's say C5. And what do you want it to be reset to? How about 45? Now, when I go and run this, we're going to go to a data2 C5 reset to 45. It is as easy as that. Now I'm going to reset this workbook and show you how to make this. All right, now that I've taken the magic out of the workbook, let's add it back in. But before I do that, if you want to learn so much more about VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, how to build your macros to automate all of your tasks in Excel and save yourself hours and hours and hours of time, honestly, really, you'll save hours of time <laughs> and probably even more than that then I recommend you to take my full VBA course. It'll take you from beginner to intermediate all the way to expert level. And I'll put a link to it below this video. Now, let's talk about what I've got here and let's add everything back in. So this is just a sample worksheet data one and data two. I imagine yours are going to have a lot more in it than just this, but the point is we have a few cells that we want to clear or reset. And more than just doing that, we want to do it in a way that's so easy to manage. So you input the VBA code, but then when you come back here, all you have to do is go to the admin worksheet, which you can hide, and add a few values here and have it work. Because managing everything in VBA can be a real pain. So we don't have to do anything with these guys. We're going to make it as simple as possible. We go to the admin worksheet, and we're going to add a table. And we only need three columns one for the name of the worksheet, one for the range reference, and one for the value. That's all we need. So we can then click in here and hit Control T or go to Insert Table. Check my table has headers. You always want headers. And all we have to do now is go like this, data one, and what was the range? We have B4 and B6. B4, and let's go over here. Data 1, B6. And let's go for a data 2. And one more for data 2. And we have A5 and A9. A5, A9. And I think we left that guy blank. This guy was 20. This guy was zero. And this guy was input name. You could imagine you could have a really big form, some numeric inputs, some text inputs. And once you have your table set up, then we can go to the VBA. But we have one more thing to do. Click in here, go to table design and table name and rename that guy. I'm going to put TBL for the start of it. So I know it's a table when I see it. TBL, let's call it reset values and enter. It's going to make reading our code a little bit easier. Now you want to get the layout of your table done before you go into code because this is going to control what we do in the back end with the VBA. You could build this out and make this really big or leave it nice and simple like this. And thankfully for us, this nice, simple three column design is going to be really powerful on its own. So we are good to go to the VBA window and automate this guy. Let's hit Alt F11 to go there and go to insert module. And let's create a little procedure, a little sub and call it reset workbook. Now, if you've watched the previous two tutorials or so, you might know where I'm going to go with this. But let me just walk you through it anyway. We have a table. Tables are really easy to get references to in the back end in the code. So we're going to get a reference to this part of the table. Then we're going to loop through it row by row. 
Then we're going to build a range reference using this worksheet name and this range. We've done that before using the indirect function here in the worksheet. It was quite neat. Now we're basically doing that version of it in the back end in the code in the VBA. And once we have that reference, we can then set it equal to this value. So Alt F11, time to do that. And we're going to make this nice, neat, and formal. So we're going to have a few variables. And if you want to build this out later, please add variables now. It's going to make your life much easier. So let's get a variable for the admin worksheet. As a worksheet, we want to use that to reference the worksheet. Let's get a variable that we can use to go through the table in the admin worksheet. RNG for range, curve for current, row for row, and it's a range variable type. And let's get a few variables to hold each element of the table. So worksheet to reset as worksheet range to reset as range and value to a reset as let's make it a variant time for the worksheet to set ws admin equal to we'll make a simple worksheet reference admin if you watch my worksheet reference tutorial you know there are many ways to make those so admin worksheet now let's do a nice simple loop let's give it some space and go right here a little for each loop for each rng current row control space to fill that variable in in ws admin dot do you remember what a table is it's a list object <laughs> open parentheses, and what's our table name? For this next part, go back to the worksheet, copy and paste it so that you don't have an error. I'm reading this off of a screen, so hopefully I won't have an error. Reset values, and close that guy up. Now, what do we want? Remember, I selected the area below the header. That's all we want. No header, no totals row. So we go for data body range, but I wanna go through the rows individually. So let's pop rows on there. And next, RNG cur row. All right. All right, now we're going through it. Now this is the part where you could make just a few really long references, but I'm gonna formalize it because you can add a lot of checks to this guy in the future. So you might wanna break everything out. And what I mean by this is that I'm gonna make one for the worksheet, one variable for that, so yes to reset equals worksheets and what do we want well we need to get a value from the current row so range cur row and which one well let's go same row first column and let's get the value of it and close it up so what we're going to be doing here is getting the name of the worksheet that we care about that we input uh, this guy right here data one or data two and then we're gonna put it right in here in worksheets to make our worksheet reference. And if you make this guy really big and formal, go ahead and add some error checking in there. That is beyond this tutorial. So WS to a reset now that we have that reference and we're going for a range reference and RNG curro dot cells, same row, second column Go for the value, close that guy up. And now let's get the value that we want to set it to. Value to a reset equals RNG cur row dot cells, same row, third column dot value. And let's go ahead and place it. RNG to a reset dot value equals value to reset. And Believe it or not, that's it. We've finally made an easy one. <laughs> so it seems like we've got more variable declaration lines than code, almost. If you include the setting, we definitely do. But like I said, what you're going to do when it gets bigger is have some checks down here where you want to work with some stuff. Maybe have some checks up here where you want to work with some stuff as well. So go ahead and formalize it while you have the time. It'll make everything much easier in the future. But this is all that we have to do. And if some of these things are a little bit confusing, like the loops and 
RNG Curl Row, watch some of my previous tutorials, or take my full VBA course, where of course I explain it so much more. So let's go back to the worksheet and get this guy to run. Now we can run it using Alt F8 and then click Reset Workbook and Run. But let's go ahead and add a nice little button because we want to make it easy for a regular user. So insert illustrations, shapes, rounded rectangle. It is your friend. And type Reset Workbook. Make it a little bit bigger. How about OK? Home tab, center, center, right click, assign macro, reset workbook, OK, click away, and let's do one little once over, OK, OK, looks good, looks good, Our reset workbook, empty, 20, zero, input name, perfect. And now, you can just let a regular user manage all of this from the admin worksheet. And you know what you can do with this worksheet? Well, you can password protect it and hide everything in the back end so that the user can never access this worksheet unless they have the correct password. And do I show you how to do that? Yes, I do. <laughs> so go ahead and check out some of my tutorials that will show you how to do that. But for this tutorial, that is all there is. And remember, if you want to learn more about VBA, check out my full VBA course. It'll take you from beginner to intermediate to advanced and show you so, so much. I'll put a link to it below this video and see you next time.